Do you already know the different polite expressions? Listen to the story and find out. Polly and Rod Polly and Rod are brothers. One day, their cousin Luna visits their house with a new toy. It was an orange ball. Polly and Rod are very excited and want to borrow it. But what should they say to Luna? Polly says, May I borrow that? While Rod says, Gimme that! Who is using the correct polite expression here? Can you gently point at him? You're correct. It's Polly. You use the phrase may I when you want to politely ask for permission. Polly throws the ball, but Rod fails to catch it. Oh no! The ball bounces and bounces until it hits the vase on top of the table. The vase falls on the ground and gets broken. Rod, together with Polly, runs after the ball and sees what happened. Mommy gets very sad after seeing the broken vase. What should they say to Mommy, kids? Polly says, I am sorry. While Rod says, It was all your fault. Who is using the correct polite expression here? Can you gently point at him? You're correct. It's Polly. You say I am sorry when you break something unintentionally. You also say this when you accidentally hurt someone. After playing with their cousin Luna and her new toy, Daddy arrives from work. I think he has something for his kids. Polly and Rod saw the colorful box that Daddy is holding. But wait, what should they say to Daddy after receiving the gift? Polly says, thank you. While Rod says, let me have that. Who is using the correct polite expression? Can you gently point at him? You're correct. It's Polly. Say thank you when somebody gives you something or helps you. Polly and Rod now have colorful new pens from Daddy. But wait! The coloring book is placed on top of the shelf and they both cannot reach it. The two brothers need Daddy's help. So, what should they say? Polly says, Please help me. While Rod says, Get that book for me now! Who is using the correct polite expression here? Can you gently point at him? You're correct. It's Polly. Say the word please when you want to ask for help or a favor. It's dinner time already. Their favorite food is on the table. Polly and Rod start to eat and they cannot stop chewing. The food is just so yummy. Their tummies are so full that they suddenly let out a loud burp. <coughs> oh no! What should they say to Mommy and Daddy? Polly says, Excuse me. While Rod says, I'm so full! Who is using the correct polite expression here? Can you gently point at him? You're correct. It's Polly. You say excuse me when you let out a loud burp. 
You also say this when you want to talk to someone who is talking to another person. Today, Polly is able to use all the polite expressions needed for every situation. Mommy and Daddy are so proud of him. Rod promises from now on that he will be as polite as his brother. He also wants his family to be proud of him. Thank you for watching, kids. See you on our next learning adventure. Because here in Train of Tots, you can learn through our story.